Top tier audio quality right there. <laughs> what is it, Lenny? Deal Chance knew when he got here, I'd get right in his face. Because we're back in Delray Beach, and they were in Bad Street, USA. <laughs> the baddest street in the whole USA, badder than Dale's. Dixie Highway. Yeah. What do you think about that, Dale? <laughs> so, where are you? The fabulous Freebirds. You idolized him as a kid. <laughs> Terry Bam Bam Gordy, Michael, Pretty Sexy Hayes, and Buddy Roberts. <laughs> the right. flabby Freebirds. <laughs> You're built like Terry Gordy, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> the baddest street in the whole USA. <laughs> Bad street with a tan, tan, tan. Dixie Highway. <laughs> Dale Street is for cookie cutters. Let's just do this for the whole podcast. Yeah, Fuck it. Lenny, Lenny sing along. Yeah. Mailboxes on every street and picket fences. Koi ponds on Dale's cookie cutter <laughs> street. <laughs> How do you remember this shit? Fairy birds, you can't forget it. The entrance music. This song is fucking horrible. <laughs> you want one more chorus? Yeah. Bad Street, Delray Beach, <laughs> Dixie Highway, the baddest street in the whole USA. Bad Street filled with tan tan tens. <laughs> Dale Street, cookie cutter USA. The biggest cookie cutter street in the whole USA. <laughs> What do you think about that, Dale? That's some good posing music. Is that what you're going to come out to next year? Could be. I liked what you did last year. Thanks. You like what Dale did? Came yeah. out to some cookie cutter stuff we don't even remember? I don't, actually, now that you mention them. See, no, Dale? To think. <laughs> All um. they remember is he got third place. <laughs> Can't remember the music, but they remember the size of the trophy. Uh-huh. How about that Photoshop that uh, Lenny Person's last direction? Was he the one that did the one where Dale's standing on the third place <clears throat> yes. podium and Lenny's yeah. sitting there judging? Yeah. <laughs> when I took that picture and posted it, I had a feeling that's that a, people were going to go wild with the Photoshop. That's that one, one of the best I've ever seen. The Lenny Person's last direction. Did not fail. <laughs> it's fucking funny, man. Yeah, he's the leader of the pack right now with the photo oh, shots. Yeah. Every day. Keep him coming. Keep putting, him coming. Putting Dale in pigtails. <laughs> 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 that had me fucking laughing, man. If Dale isn't motivated after looking at that, I don't know what's going to motivate him. Oh, he's motivated. Better get off your fat rear end, Dale. Start moving some weight in that gym. Start posting some Instagrams of you moving some weight. He doesn't post that much anymore. Why not? He just had, weight I, think he just, I think he just had shoulder surgery and biceps. Boo hoo hoo. <laughs> I told him he should document his recovery and all that shit. Why don't you film your or to give your family your surgeries? I'm sure they do and put post it on Instagram. Why don't you post anything on Instagram? Uh, I'm in the process of doing that. Okay. <laughs> we'll have to t- Did you bring your smartphone tonight? No. Uh-huh. See. Mm-hmm. So how are we going to show you if you don't ever have your phone on it's you? It's full of viruses, it said. Again? Yeah. What the fuck, man? I thought you fixed that. It's viruses again. Bring it back to that. Bring it back to the... Um, yeah, the kid who fixed it is yeah. a fan of us, actually. He loves our stuff. Yeah, he, he, probably loves, he probably loves when you, you bring know, it back in to fix the... One of the culprits is probably that the YNC site. 
Yeah. Don't yeah. go on there. You don't need to go on that shit anyway. It just it puts life in perspective. Puts life in perspective. So we've gone from Kimbo to Kiara back to Kimbo. Yeah. And where is Kimbo? <laughs> he came out about five minutes ago. He peeked around the corner and ran back in the other He's going to have to get used to us all over yeah. again. Just when he thought it was safe, <laughs> he got rid of everyone. It's all right. Just when Dale thought it was safe when Jay Masters let him alone. Here comes Lenny Person's Last Direction. What's the, uh, what, what episode are we on? 31? I think thir- 31, I think. This microphone is acting up. Use your normal one. Uh, so, so what is there to talk about in episode loads 31? and loads to talk about loads next like, month two like, months the should, olympia should we start with that our what our, our game plan is the good the bad and the ugly let's start with the good the good is over the past couple weeks myself lenny brad andrew calora jay masters possibly lou co with andrew we're not even sure who else we all kind of came to the conclusion that we all want to go to the Olympia the weekend of September 14th. And we're all basically, basically we're all in pretty much. So that's the good part because how long have people been messaging us, telling us to go to the Olympia, film videos? I think since we started doing videos every fucking year. You in Vegas, you've never been, right? I tell you what, I can't wait to get my hands on some of these cookie cutters and confront them. <laughs> and I got a long list. Well, we... I can't wait. Somebody please send me there. We got to make it happen. And you can send me home in a body bag if, you, if, if, that's, what it, if that's what it takes. Well, like I said, the good is we're all planning on going. And if anyone's been maligned over the last year, it's probably me because I don't upload a lot of videos anymore and they're... It's just hard to do these days, especially without World Gym. But if we can get to the Olympia, all of us, and we all make it there, for the men deprived and people who've been wanting, you know, le pièce de résistance of men's, (laughs) a trip to the Mr. Olympia in Vegas with at least six or seven of us. (laughs) You'll have enough footage for weeks. Yeah, I might have to buy a few uh, memory cards. (laughs) As for the bad, well, some of us can afford the trip. And some of us cannot. Brad. Um, hmm? Brad can afford 20 trips. <laughs> I wish. If I could afford it, I'd take everybody. Works for the USPS. Yeah. Well, I got, <laughs> I got child support to fucking pay. <laughs> oh, so, um, you know, I've been in contact with Kalora, and uh, we, we've kind of decided that, and we're not fans of doing this in any way, shape, or form, but we are strongly considering throwing up a GoFundMe to see what kind of funds we can collect to pay for those who cannot fully fund their own trips. And And, I think that those who would throw a few dollars into a GoFundMe, you would be more than satisfied with your ROI, return on investment. I think the videos that we can film out there, if we all go, and it's basically, as far as I'm concerned, it's an all-or-nothing type of trip. Absolutely. We, we all go. Hopefully, a lot of you guys can only do that, but also join us. That's true, too. Yeah, absolutely. Anyone who wants to go to the Olympia or planning on going to the Olympia, as far as I'm concerned, we're doing it. Yeah, we you got know? we got to make it happen. We, but we, we need that, you know. Unfortunately, the shirt sales will not pay for everybody, so. And I don't even have any vacation time left. And I told my job, I said, look, I need these four or five days off. You know, give me vacation pay or not, but I need these days off and, and I'm out of it. So screw it. Um, but I can fund my own way. Brad is good. Um, in order for Kalor to go, we're going to need some funds. In order to get Lenny to go, we're going to need some funds. And I J- think Jay Masters. Jay Masters as well. He's his, you know, his funds go to malt liquor. So, <laughs> as for Jason, I'm sure everybody is wondering. Jason, Jason is more than invited to come. We've extended him an invitation, but he will not be the beneficiary of a GoFundMe for reasons. You know, Brad and I. Well, he makes made. all this money on. He can pay his own fucking right. way. Right. So. So we want to make this happen. We're going to make it I happen. I think we can. Yeah, we put. A, I mean, oh, listen. We don't ask for. 
We don't ask for shit. We asked for the GoFundMe that one time because everybody wanted to see your house get cleaned. And, of course, it stayed clean for and a fucking day. And it did. If I just take a mop to it, yeah. I'll show but them that the money was well spent. This is this is different, you know. This is for everybody. And, you know, we... we this is a one-time thing. You know, for those who've been asking us to do it, we, we've all finally decided this is the year to do it since there's no Ruby. So you're not getting any Ruby videos this year, folks. Right. So the month month of September is going to be pretty dry if we don't get out to the Olympia, but we we need some funds for some people to make that trip happen. And with your help, like I said, the return on investment <clears throat> will be through the roof. And I, I will personally make sure that as the man who's usually behind the camera with all this stuff, I I've been maligned, rightfully so. I can take the heat. The YouTube content has been shit. Over the past year, I wouldn't say it's been shit, but it's been inconsistent and too far between. If we all go to Vegas, I, I will fucking sniff coke all day and night. <laughs> if it means staying awake to film shit, I need to film. Hey, listen, <laughs> if, like I was telling Leonard, if there if there's enough money generated or collected, we could fucking buy GoPros and fucking right, strap one around Right, we can buy additional neck, cameras. You know, and we can also try to capture everything. And with whatever extra money, we'll have bail money if we need any. Yeah, we'll definitely need some bail money. <laughs> Bribe a few police officers. Look at Lenny twitching. <laughs> uh, I heard there may be 10, 10, 10s out there. In maybe. Of you, course. You heard there may of be. Of course. Lenny, it's Las Vegas. Is everything out there. Nothing isn't out there. Sin well, City. I'll do my best to extend an invitation to Jay Cookie Cutler if he's not so busy. He has a gym out there, right? He lives out yeah, there. Selling his uh, Jay Master Jay Master says he wants to go to his gym. He's all pumped up. I think we're all pretty excited for it. I think we can make it happen. I, and so, you know, these people, it's you know, we're not asking for much. The, the uh, who knows? I may run into that Chuck Basher. He'll be there. Yeah. They'll all be there. Still that should be very interesting, man. We might we might not last ten minutes at the expo, but <laughs> so he better, there's plenty of after parties and there's yeah. plenty of shit well, to so do. So you let him know Believe Chuck Basher is going to go to the Olympia. He better start putting that size back on if you get my drift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not start making. We're, we're no, not going there to get kicked out or we're, you know. It, it, we're, we'll be going in peace. Right. Yeah. We come in peace. And whatever happens after that happens after and that. Chuck may but be we'll, leaving in pieces. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> no, no, no threats. He'd probably please. give you a big hug when he sees you. You guys would probably shake hands and. He'll probably give me a rim job. Like, <laughs> didn't didn't Bravo and Lobliner get along when they when they met? Finally? Yeah, you know, so that's a rusty trombone. These online beefs always end up being settled amicably, you know. It's, but either way, i you know, I'd be curious to see. I'm curious. Is Dale Chuck E. Cheese chance? He said he there? he said he would go if he's we if one. we get to if we get to go. He said he'll go. Right. And because Cornelius is going there, he's got he's got one of his. Uh, women that he trains that's competing in the Olympia. Hey, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> so if he gets, if, if he hears that we, we were able to make Jeez. it happen, which hopefully we can generate the funds in the next week so we can book it and it's not too expensive. Because well, Vegas isn't fucking cheap. It must no. be and nice. I, What's Dale got a private jet now? It's bad enough he lives on the Chance Estate. Has a canned. If he had a private cunt. jet, if he had a private jet, he'd come pick us up and go. Please, it wouldn't so, surprise me. What, what we're going to do over the next few days is we're going to crunch some numbers. We're going to see exactly how much we need in order to pay for a few people, and um, we'll come up with a number. And listen, if you guys have any feedback, you want to tell us to go fuck ourselves. You want to tell us it's a great idea. Please message any of us and let us know. Be honest. So we can have an idea whether or not, as Big Richard would say, we're pissing up a rope. <laughs> yeah, we but if, if we don't get enough, can can it be refunded to the people? I'm, I'm sure it can. Okay. We'll, we'll find a way to make it happen. But you know, it's, I think Lou might come too. Did I already say yeah. that? Yeah. We'll try to, you know, we can try to do a pre-sale of the shirts and get some money from that also. Not, you know. It's so a, a one-time event. And like I said, no Ruby this year, so fuck it. Let's go bigger. Let's go to the Olympia. Just th just think about all the free content you've got over the years. Yep. A couple bucks. Oh, it, believe me. It's going to be gonna, worth their gonna while. Break, isn't going to break the bank. It will be bank. worth their while with these confrontations. Friendly, professional debates and conversations and greetings. Like I said, 
Everybody throws the first punch against me. I said that before. No liability. <laughs> <laughs> you can throw three punches. And Nobody's going to want to fight you. They're all going to no. want to fuck you. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's what's going on lately. That's it's, it's been a topic of discussion among all of us for the last few days, and we've been waiting for this podcast to address it. And we're just putting it out there once and for all. And like I said, give us your feedback. We're going to wait a few days before we throw up a GoFundMe, which we're almost definitely going to do. If we Why get not? what we need, it's Mr. Olympia. That's, the only, that's the only way. The, yep. You know. We got to make it happen. That'll be so much fucking fun. We'll and, if any, and if anyone commits to going and then backs out, they get order 66. That's right. You hear that, Jay? <laughs> you hear that, Dale Chuck E. Cheese Chance? <laughs> Residing at the Chance Estate. Kalora, as get your time off, Kalora. Yeah, Andrew Kalora, I'm talking to you. Dale's sipping on wine and eating a sumptuous dinner. <laughs> Just. Goes to the Olympia on a whim. Hey, if we get enough money, we'll rent a fucking van and we'll go to the Hoover Dam. And that's right. Yeah, we're in a stinking Leonard, Leonard van. Took, we'll throw Leonard the fuck off of it. <laughs> and Dale Chance is in his own private jet. That's what I'm going to think about tomorrow's workout. It'll be like the hangover. Yeah, exactly. We'll all get roofied up. <laughs> fuck that. You saw the hangover. That's nothing. <laughs> We're gonna make Leonard it will be it's, on the top happening. of Leonard will be it's on the top happening. of Caesar's Palace throwing mattresses off the roof. <laughs> that, remember all the, the all the, those positive texts Lou was sending Kalora. You yeah. know, you have to think something into existence, make it happen. It's always think positive. It's going to happen. We're going to go. That's it. Yeah. But with a little help of the maniacs, it'll be that much easier. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew is one of the hottest things on Instagram. Thank you. Oh, Kalora. <laughs> Both of you guys. Uh. Is Dale Chance? You guys let us give us the feedback. Dale doesn't post much. Why not? Who the fuck knows? He's too busy on the Chance Estate, wheeling and dealing, Chance styling estate. and profiling. <laughs> the Chance Estate. Limousines, pretty cars, and private jets. A limousine riding, jet flying. <laughs> Son of a gun. Kiss stealing, <laughs> wheeling, dealing, <laughs> wheeling, dealing, getting those training services. Right, settle you down, can, you Jason. You can do a better Ric Flair than Jason for sure. Yeah. Hear that enough from Jason. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> I'm Dale Chance, baby! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Wheeling and dealing with Cornelius uh, with training programs and intravenous amino acids. <laughs> Few injuries thrown in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My shoulder in a sling. Oh, I got surgeries coming up. Oh, More surgeries, surgeries, oh. surgeries. Jeez. But I'll be there. Metal rods in my back. <laughs> Right from my, what is it? But look at this. Controlled, uh, look at this transformation. <laughs> That'll give you some motivation, maniacs. Look at me. I'm Dale Chance. Dale should have his own booth at the Olympia. Probably going to have one of his own throne. <laughs> On my, I call it a little dis, they should have a big display called Mount Olympus, where Dale Chance is at the top and people come up and pay him homage. And, and kiss like, his feet. Right. I think they're going to do a human sacrifice for him. They're pandering to him left and right around here. <laughs> they're going to give this. It's not going to be the Sandow statue anymore. It's going to be the Chance statue given to the Mr. Olympia winners. Who's the, who's the statue named after? Who wins? Well, it's a statue of Eugene Sandow, one of the body, the turn of the century familiar. bodybuilders. Where's that now? The Olympia Trophy. They've been given the since 1977, I believe. Frank Sam got the first. He's always good. But for they're, they're going to give it to. They're going to make a Dale Chance Olympia statue. <laughs> Mr. Mount Olympus himself. <laughs> <laughs> While the cookie cutters will be bowing down to him, and wearing the Chance apparel. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese <laughs> Chance. You hear that, Dale? Make sure you bring enough dip for everybody. <laughs> it's, did you see that uh, that little video I did in Hamburg's uh, 
hotel room with the fucking refrigerator was loaded with yes, this yeah, smooth. The fucking how many containers of that did he bring over? Uh, here? Probably fucking thirty. Yeah, it shows. <laughs> Yuck. That's what Dale's fucking refrigerator will look like when he's got the real did, dip. Did Dale dip when he was here? I don't remember. No, I don't, he, think, I don't so. think he dips. Well, Dale just started wearing shoes last year. Fucking redneck. <laughs> <laughs> he had one of those big things in his mouth. You know, they have... It's like a big rock tumbleweed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they had to do a remake of that show, Hee Haw. Have Dale on it. Hee Haw. That's before your time. Andrew runs it, I'm sure. I know the name. Oh, it was great. A Jew from New York's not watching a show Everybody called watched. <laughs> Everybody watched that in the 70s. Watching Yo! MTV raps. <laughs> yeah. You were in Yo! MTV raps. <laughs> <laughs> With Fab Five Freddy. Uh, never heard of her. And yeah. Takashi69. Did you, you see, see what happened to him? You know who that is, yes, Lenny? Yes, yes. King of the cookie cutters. I feel so bad for him. I thought he was a tranny. Did rainbow, he have, rainbow fucking hair. Well, he didn't turn me on. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Rodriguez is his real name. Oh, yeah. What a great contributor let, to let me Let me go around and flash all the money and jewelry I got. You don't. Sooner or later, you're going to get fucking jacked. <laughs> he, he was at a strip club. He was at the same strip club. That Clee Anthony Early was at, who was on the New York Knicks when he got shot in the leg, leaving the exact same strip club about no four shit. years ago. He got robbed of his gold teeth, his chains, his cash, his cell phone. Those cookie cutters are in there, just like vultures. They're jealous. Oh, I'm going to get this guy, you know. That's what he the gets. The guy's walking around with a $750,000 necklace around his neck. And who paid for it? The cookie cutters, the white boys. I've never heard. Go I see him. The I, parents I that pay for him. Music. I, I, we've probably heard it somewhere. You call but that I music? Can't, I can't point it out. Neither could I. Everything about that cookie cutter is complete nonsense. Pure cookie cutter. Well, you can look up pictures of him when he was in school. He looked just like a normal preppy kid. He's not really cookie cutter, Leonard. How many people walk around with sixty nine tattooed all over their body and rainbow hair? Cookie cutters. That's not. He's. Does that I take mean, anything? Like, like, does that take it, anything to do that? Any it's special the cookie type cutters gift? that fucking. You does know. it take any special gift to sit down in a tattoo parlor? No, but I'm just saying, there's not and many people fights? with 69 tattooed all over themselves. So he's not exactly cookie cutter. He's just a fucking punk. He's a cookie cutter. Well, he's got cookie cutters that follow him because they. Th- one person says he's cool, and then they all got to do yeah, it. He's real cool. You know. Look at him now, real cool. What are you going to do now, you cookie cutter? Buy another necklace. Yeah, that's all he's good for. It's all, about, fla- it's all about flashing what you got and nowadays, who's funding man. Him? Nobody knows how to stay low-key. Flashing what? The, the self-proclaimed king of New York. That's what he says. Are you shitting me? No, that's what he oh says. Oh, my fucking God. You imagine look at a Look at a guy like Nas, who's a, you know. Right. You don't see anything about him being a fucking jerk off, going out flashing his shit. He just Who? makes his. He's a rapper. You would never know. heard of her, right? You ne- of course, but <laughs> if that's the king of New York, I'm glad I moved out when I did. Yeah, no shit. I'm Is going. That- I'm going there next Robert week. Robert Frank's yeah. the king of New York yeah. in my book. Yeah. New Jersey. I'm going there next week. I'm going to go on his podcast. The That's glorious house of gains. Where is that, New Jersey? Yeah, it's about an hour from the city. Okay. Next Thursday night. That'll, you have to be, say where people can listen to it, if it's on uh, it's iTunes on, or what. Yeah, he think he's on every platform. He hasn't got kicked right, off Just of make any, sure you yeah. give Dale a chance a plug. Oh, yeah. I'll tell him how Dale wanted to suck his penis. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's on iTunes, SoundCloud, everything. They do a good job. They, they're only about, you know, they go for a little over an hour every week. It'll be fun. Looking forward to it. That and that's about it. I don't really have anything else planned. <clears throat> find find a few uh, maniacs up in New York you can extort. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, one guy messaged me, wanted to bring me some, some of that New York chronic. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I might see Chris while I'm there. Who knows? I'll see. I oh, yeah, from Brooklyn. Take it day by day. Yeah. Maybe you went into Christina. I heard you had some information on her. Yeah, actually, you know what? I gotta read that. I don't Brad's gonna pitch a tent outside our building. <laughs> That'd be great. I, I wish I could. Not do that, that kind of tent, Leonard. I'm gonna get a fucking restraining order like you. <laughs> I'll be the first one of us to get one. <laughs> you know what? I should get like a a big. Uh, you know how they make those signs at games with somebody's face yeah. on a stick? Yeah. I should get Leonard's face on a stick and just stand <laughs> outside of her apartment building, <laughs> waving your fucking face in the air. <laughs> Christina! Uh, the, uh, how come I didn't get invited, Brad? Huh? How come I didn't get invited if you're going to see Christina? That's a good question. I should have invited you. It's not too late. Uh, you can sleep on the floor in the hotel room. How's that? I'll sleep on the sidewalk outside of Christina's home. Get a flight. Next Thursday to Sunday, man. Hmm. hmm. Maybe we'll start a GoFundMe for that, too. <laughs> we should put that up tomorrow. <laughs> you get the time off. Lenny's <laughs> thinking about it. No, I don't know. I don't know if that's the, uh, if she still lives at that address. Where'd you get the address from? Adam McLeod's been doing the research. I heard she may be teaching at New York University drama and acting. She's married, you know. Yeah, I know. It doesn't matter. You don't want her th- that what, way anyway. No. You just want to be her servant and bodyguard. At what college? New York University. So just go to NYU's website and look up and their faculty. And the Tribeca School of the Arts also. Yeah, she look, was up, doing that. look up their faculty. Wow. Give you something to do tonight. <laughs> Send and her an re- email. Be like, I, 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 I want to enroll. Yeah. Imagine that. I'm a student in one of your classes. I want to arrange some private tutoring. Could you imagine? I think I'd faint. I couldn't over the emotion would be un- unbelievable. I don't know how I'd react on camera. I really don't. I went through it many times in my head. The scenario. Scenario. And again, if I want to, you know, it sounds like a broken record, but thanks again, Adam McLeod. I mean, I really can't thank you enough. You went to some great lengths to hopefully arrange a film meeting. By the way, he's going to Vegas her. too. He already booked it. Oh, that's great. So he's going to be out there. Great. But Nate, did anyone reach out to Nate? I have not. I don't know. I think Dumbo is going to be gone. Well, he's got he's got his father out there too, so it wouldn't be that big no. of a stretch for him. He still has connections out there. Where the fuck is that? I got to look for that email. What email? Go ahead and from uh, Adam McLeod. Well, Adam, g- g- good luck and can't wait to see you at the Olympia. They are strictly prohibited from providing any contact or agency info when it comes to our current or past talent. I understand how frustrating as it sounds. We cannot be held le- we can be held legally liable for providing information that we were advised not to provide by Christina and her team. Her in the pa- team. in the past two years, we have been bombarded with fictitious and abusive calls in regards to Christina. Thanks, trolls. Gee, I wonder what that's. I wonder what. And we were and we were advised going forward to not provide any information without legal representation behind it. So she probably ha- she probably has a restraining order against you, like if you get within ten thousand feet of her. Well, I don't remember you ever asking the people to fucking harass her like that. No, I don't think. I think they were may, might have been a little misguided. Maybe they were overzealous yeah. and wanted me to meet her, and because they. Maybe couldn't happen on their terms. They may have went off the handle. I understand, but, you know, I really would love to meet her before. It would be a harmless meeting. I mean. Yeah, before I eventually meet her. Maybe not to me if I faint, but when I meet her, when I'm being carried into heaven, you know, that's the ultimate purpose, I think, to be carried by my angel. But I really would like to meet her. So I want to talk working out for a minute. I want to thank the Motor City Madman, Jay Masters, because I, I watch all of his live streams. And um, I even th- I talked to him about it when he was in town last week, and then I thanked him. When he's actually lucid and sober, he, he does some pretty educational and informative live streams. And in he one of, he one does of he, know his shit. I'll yeah. give him that. He does. And in one of them he talked about, I'd say maybe two months ago, he was talking about the importance of doing fast explosive movements especially on pushing movements benching military pressing incline pressing and about 
six weeks ago, I started implementing his, um, his philosophy. I, I started doing everything as fast as I can, quick explosive movements, especially on like flat bench. But and going up, press. not going down. Correct. Not going up. Right. And th- the amount of progress I've made in those six weeks has been amazing. Every time I, I do chest or any kind of pressing movement, I can do at least one or two more reps of the same amount of weight than I could. And the your, week ad, your added size is noticeable. It's all lean muscle. Thanks. And it, I got to say, I owe a lot of it to taking Jay's advice with this new form of lifting. You know, anyone who's watched our videos over the years, rightfully so, I've always been known as, you know, Princess No Gains Andrew. And, <laughs> and, and honestly, one of the reasons why I've always been that way is because I've always sort of adhere to the Ian McCarthy way of lifting everything slow and perfectly controlled and God forbid you're you know you go too fast or your form gets a little bad and I kind of have abandoned that over the last six weeks because of what Jay recommended people start doing and lo and behold it's worked it's great yeah so I want to thank Jay Masters for the tip and for anyone out there whether you're 20 years old or my age which is 46 if you've hit a plateau, you're not making any gains, especially on your pushing movements, next time you go to the gym, give it a shot. Just explode that bar off your chest as fast as you can on every single rep, from the first rep to the last rep of the set, and do that consistently. And I guarantee you over about six weeks, you will notice a big difference in the amount of weight you're pushing. Or if, flood J Masters DMs. Yeah. <laughs> if it worked for my no-gains, glove-wearing... Princess ass. It'll work for you guys, too, I promise. We had a maniac join us for dinner Monday, and the first thing he said to Jay was, are you wearing shoulder pads? Yeah, he said he's, he's a lot, he's he never, is a lot bigger in person. Never People seen him don't that realize big. He's bigger than he's ever been, well, Jay's and he's pushing 50. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Jay's arms got bigger, too. His forearms and his biceps. Big, this you know what's funny? Brad's bigger than he was in his 20s. Yeah. Andrew, you're bigger than you were in your 20s muscle-wise. Jay mm-hmm. Masters is, and so is Lou. But guess who's smaller? Me and Calora. Go figure. <laughs> well, I started making gains when I started doing testosterone. Plain and simple. I made subtle gains when I started the test, but I started making more significant gains from a, a, a lifting standpoint, how much weight I could actually move when I started implementing the fast explosive movements on the pressing movements. And every even, even maniac leg, out there? Leg pressing and, and hack squatting too. Go back to the basics. Keep up the basics. The biggest, strongest guys do the basics, and they do them well, and they do them with weight. Jay's a, fa- Jay's a fan of that Louis Simmons, isn't he? No. He's not? No. Who, who is he? A- He'll take a few bits and pieces of it, but Jay's basically, you know, push-pull. Yeah. Light day, a form day, recuperation, Jay's big on. He's going for that record, that over 50 bench yeah, record. Yeah, yeah he was, he was real goosed up yeah. the other day. He's Jay's not a fan of isolation movements. And he trains pretty high intensity. He's old school, but he's gotten into these bands. Did you see his post today about tying yeah. the bands to his truck? Yeah. I told him to train like Stallone from over the top. <laughs> and how does Jay implement that to a? Uh... I have no idea. He just when he's at the truck stop, he got a he's got a bar. He put some bands on the front of the truck. Look at that! Wow, you actually that's I want to see yeah, a video of that. That's interesting. I think he did put it as a video. I wonder if there's any truckers out there the size of Jay Masters. And what do they think when he comes rolling in? I'm sure there are, but not as strong as he is. Yeah. He is a fucking beast. And he yeah. doesn't get injured. I don't want to jinx him. Why? Back. Because yeah. he's not putting those tendons and ligaments under any time of tension. He's exploding right through yeah, it. You were explaining that to me the other night. I right? figured out why he was never injured like that. I thought it was just in the equipoise. <laughs> that too. That it does build <laughs> collagen. Oh, yeah. That too, but because it doesn't expose it to it, that joint. He blasts right through and he doesn't mess around with a lot of isolation movements admit it when you're doing a heavy compound movement your adrenaline's up your cons you're focused you have to be focused you're going to seriously injure yourself a lot of times when you're doing isolation movements you can drift off start actually talking to people during your set which is a major no-no yeah and end up hurting yourself on something i do that shit (laughs) like i said jay masters gets ripped without doing any isolation movements he will look like a pro bodybuilder 
It's that simple. Oh, he's got the size, no question. And, you know, they say he's got to work his rear delts, this and that. He works them enough on his presses, his deadlifts. His what rows. do you think he could get ripped at, 250 or 240? I think he could be 250. So he needs to lose Looking 90, pretty shredded. 90 pounds of fat. He would be a fucking... It's idiot. mostly water and fat, but you're going to lose muscle too, remember, but... He's got a. He's got a. If he if he did it with an expert, if an expert could get him with the dieting and such, that's the thing. He would never pay anybody to fucking do that. Yeah, right, Jay. No. But if the ins- he could he could do it if he just focused and got rid maybe of it. I think he he will do it if he breaks this record over fifty. It'd be a good time for him to do it, and I'm sure he would consider it at that point to compete at fifty and up in bodybuilding. Fuck. Right, at least well, come down and get stage. shredded. No, he was talking about doing male physique. I mean, you take a guy like that who's been squatting and deadlifting. He's got legs. He'll have ripped glutes. He'll have separation between the hamstrings. He'll have massive hamstrings. I mean, he's he's bodybuilder all the way. He's got a big set of natural calves, you know. And he doesn't have a, you know, he's a lot of things he hasn't really touched yet as far as the GH and to really use that stuff to where you, you know, get really, really shredded. And maintain that mass. She's got to put down that malt liquor, Jay, and that golden cor- I think, that like golden I said, corral. You know what? <laughs> you you can sauce. manage it to a point. Beer is mostly water. It's carbs. You know, uh, empty calories. What you could do is just do it on the weekends. Like it's almost like a cheat. Yeah. But far from to think any strong man, powerlifter, bodybuilder doesn't drink beer. I mean, plenty have done it. Plenty have done well. Plenty of athletes. Have done well drinking. I mean, well, he, yeah, he's just got to slow it to we start with just right. weekends, and then maybe every other week, right. and just slowly wean. You can't just but don't c- demonize yourself, people. Cold Life's turkey. too short. Yeah, exactly. You know, you're gonna have a problem thinking you got to be acceptable to what society considers sober. And a lot of people walk around, oh, I'm not a drinker. You know, I don't do that. I don't drink alcohol, but I don't go saying I'm better than. I might say that you're a cookie cutter, and I'm not. But <laughs> you know, rather see somebody drink and bust their ass in the gym and eat right that somebody that doesn't eat right doesn't drink and does uh an ian mccarthy workout sorry no offense (laughs) somebody somebody wrote ian in quote ian and then in quotations inevitable suicide mccarthy (laughs) no i'm I'm, I'm sorry we never got a chance to have him on the podcast because that was the whole idea when he flew here that for that one night. Yeah, and then I, his flight. I had to go home. I didn't really get to talk to the guy. but He missed the first flight, so we didn't get here till late. He missed the podcast. He just, I was I was too buzzed to deal with his shit. I didn't feel like being in therapy that day. But he obviously, I mean, it was good for him to t- vent to everybody, but it also was like, all right, man. Uh, you get that idea out of your head. That's just a last. I talked to him. That's insane. I talked to him for about an hour. His, at Brad's place on July. 4th. His problem is he fucking thinks too much. You know, yeah. just live He's your life. About what other people think of him. Right? Who gives a fuck? I told him. I said, "What? What are you so fucking depressed about? Okay, whatever. You're not with your wife. Yeah, but you're single guy. You got no kids. You only have responsibility to yourself. You're not fucking crippled. You're an able-bodied adult. I mean, but you here, know. here's the thing: is it really depression? Or is I it? I mean, the, Ian is so hell-bent on the belief that he's suffering from depression i say how do you know it's not withdrawal symptoms from all the fucking amphetamines and caffeine you put in your body every day well it's not Maybe, withdrawal because he still continues to put it all in there yeah, but but he told me that when he doesn't take however many milligrams of adderall he becomes dysfunctional uh. so is it is it depression or is it withdrawal symptoms from all the stimulants you put in your body i saw a thing on meth last night say adderall is a weak version of crystal meth absolutely it's an amphetamine there's yeah. no question about it it's it's a great it's great but you have to you know are you a drug moder- addict moderation yeah or not i mean that's the question and ian and i had a very healthy i wouldn't call it a debate but we had a very healthy discussion about it and he, everyone knows ian's very smart he's very educated um but it's like he needs to take the he needs to take these depression blinders off it's like depression 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 and after a while, it's like, oh, okay, stop wallowing in it. And, you know, maybe it isn't that. Maybe you need to wean yourself off some of these things slowly but surely so you can see, well, is it depression or holy shit, have I made myself a drug addict? I agree with you. And then people with 
a lot of vegans and people that have poor nutritional habits don't get enough protein, amino acids, B vitamins. Well, I asked him that too. If he if he tried well. to change his diet, he said no. I'm like, what about pot? You know, he said he's tried pot, but it makes him paranoid. So yeah, hmm. he'll be all right. He's yeah, nice. he's fine. He's a good guy. He said he was diagnosed with. Uh, one percent autism, like you like know what? Jason. <laughs> that's a bunch of that's a I, bunch I, of bull. I don't. Pick they diagnose. Fuck. Don't tell them. Fuck you. you know, autism is one of the most overdiagnosed things in this day and age, and anything else. You know, if there's any slight deviation from the norm, oh, autism. Yeah. You're on the spectrum. I don't think. I don't know who diagnosed Ian with that, but I've been around him enough. I don't think there's anything remotely autistic about him, and I mean. I've been around a Jason number of for years. <laughs> I mean, I remember when I was 19 years old, I needed a job for the summer and I couldn't find one. The only thing I could find was being a camp counselor at the 92nd Street Y in New York City, working with kids who had autism and Down syndrome. So it was a day camp. I didn't want the job. I needed a job. I needed money. So it was a two month day camp. And that was one of the most grueling yet amazing learning experience it's, humble, it's humbling too you oh know. yeah some of these kids what did you get out of that what did i get out of what it? what did you learn specifically patience thankful for the fact that i'm not what about like the down him. syndrome that's the down syndromes were actually very high functioning they're not like the the kids with autism some of the kids with autism you can't communicate with them they're they're on another planet their brains are so horribly miswired that there's no salvaging them. But the ones that I worked with that summer who had Down syndrome, they were great kids. Great kids. They looked a little different and they acted a little funny. But other than that... I noticed they had the same distinct facial yeah, characteristics. Yeah, kind of like an underbite. Um, How does that happen? I don't understand that. No. Scientifically. I, well, a, the, a big risk factor is the age of the mother. Once you're in your late 30s or early 40s and you get pregnant, the, the risk of those kind of birth defects increase significantly. Yeah, tell her that. <laughs> Inside joke. <laughs> I'm getting a glass of water. Anyone need anything? Besides a tan, tan, tan? <laughs> Or Christina. Uh, a meeting with Christina. I'd like to thank my sponsor, New World Nutrition, for my nutritional needs. Liver cleansers. Fast-acting protein, slow-acting casein protein, and my good old-fashioned egg protein. Thank you very much. Excellent, excellent. <clears throat> Since we're gonna... New Universal Order, Adam McLeod. There you go. The modern day Winston Churchill. And I like he sent me a text the other day saying that the words can't and quit aren't a part of his vocabulary. I'd like to thank my sponsor, Manischewitz. Manischewitz. <laughs> you mentioned the serving ace, the servingace.com. If you want to beat up your bookies, go there. They got what you need. Use the uh, promo code Delray, get half off. You want to win some easy money? Gambling, if you're going to gamble, you might as well try to win some money. And then stashco.com for your cookie cutter beard oil and your hair hair grease. <laughs> what else we got? Oh, we got we got a gift too from Bull Breed Bodybuilding out of Australia. You know what I wanted to ask you guys? Have either of you noticed a trend Lately in the gym where guys are wearing two different colored socks. Yes. You have noticed that. I'm not, I'm not saying things. At LA Fitness in Boca I, and Delray, I keep seeing it more and more. What is that about? Some cookie cutter jackass. I, I saw a guy that looks like Terry Crews in the in Never heard LA, of her. LA Fitness uh -huh. that wears two different shoes every fucking day. That older black guy. You know who that guy Terry Crews is? He's an old yeah, spice. Of course. He looks like him. He wears two different fucking shoes every well, day. I can explain that. You're being an uneducated porch monkey. Do or it's really like dark when he wakes up in his house and doesn't realize. But he, but he does it on purpose. All right, so check this Why out. Why would anyone do that on purpose? What a, what a clown. What a jackass. Is that a new trend, though, the different colored socks? Like, is there some new rapper or something I don't know about? Probably some this? low form of intelligence, some low you, life. you read this? All right, I'm going to read a letter. People just advertise how stupid they are. 
to the Delray Misfits. Thanks for all the endless amount of laughs you boys have provided me with. Keep up the great work, and hopefully I will see you all in Australia one of these days. That would be great, actually. Cheers, Elijah. P.S. I like this guy's handwriting. The kangaroo ball sack is for Lenny. <laughs> it was taken from a tan kangaroo with a 10-inch... <laughs> really? <laughs> Let me see that. No, oh, it's a kangaroo. It's a pouch made out of kangaroo scrotum. <laughs> Hold on, let me film this real quick. It smells like my old catcher's, my uh, first baseman's glove. Hold on a second. It smells like a nice brand new baseball glove. Let's see. Here. Show us. You got it. Turn it the other way. What? That is a genuine kangaroo fucking scrotum, huh? You already smelled it, didn't you? What's it smell? It smelled like my first baseman's glove. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Wow, they got a leather scrotum. It's, it's That's great. Small. There's not much you can put in there. Yeah, I've seen real tan tan tens with scrotums twice as big. Oh, for fuck's sake, oh, Leonard. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Show, an, show Andrew. <laughs> Let's see the shirts. Said to be very I lucky. I like those shirts. Pretty cool, right? Got a large here or an XL? The one that possesses this scrotum is assured of a li long life, happiness, and healthy children. Thank you. I hope to have both. That's badass. This is a 2X. Think that'll fit you? Elijah, thank you. These shirts are great. Wow. Thanks, Eli. Oh, we were supposed to give a Thanks, shout out Elijah. to some woman messaged me saying that. Uh, She's getting married to a guy named Eli in Australia. Wanted us to congratulate Eli. Mazel tov. <laughs> Eli, congratulations. A woman that's a fan of the Delray Misfits is a great woman. You're going to have a lot of fun. Thanks. <laughs> Throws it at him. So now you could say you fucking fondled the kangaroo nice. scrotum, Leonard. I think I'll wear it tomorrow. Work. You could use this for your pills. <laughs> That's what I was thinking, actually. There's not much else you can fit in here. Very cool. Thanks for the gifts. And anybody else that wants to send gifts, <laughs> since we're in a, yeah. since we're, in a, we're doing a mooching podcast, <laughs> <laughs> P.O. Box 7593, Delray Beach, Florida, 33482. <laughs> Everybody always messaged me and asked, where can we send? Where can we I send? Know. There you go. That's where you can send Let shit. Me, can I read the address, please? Of what? Where to send it. Where to send what? Stuff to who? To us? You have the address? Yeah. I just said it. You just said it. Oh, I just want to... Say it again, but more slowly. <laughs> I'll say it the way Andrew Kalora, an inside joke. What are you talking about? Where's the address? Wait, Lenny, what address do you want to read? The Our P.O. Box. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. not written down. Uh -huh. Here. It's on here. Jesus Christ, Lenny. Lenny, was it a read the return address from Australia? It's right down there. I just fucking read it. Anything being sent to the Delray Misfits, <laughs> P.O. Box 7593, Delray Beach, Florida, 33482, United States of America, and back to Andrew. What the fuck? Thank you, Lenny. <laughs> In other news, I have to start blowing some smoke in your face. <laughs> Did you see fucking Papa John got resigned or whatever? Mm, yeah. What did he? What did he exactly say? He said nigger. <laughs> Big it. deal. That, that's it. Big Here deal. Here we go again. Big deal. Can't say it, huh? I think it was, yeah, wasn't it taken out of context, though? It's always taken out of context. It was during a conference call or something like that. Uh, that That's the KOD these days. That's the kiss of death. If you get caught saying that, if you said it 10 years ago in an old tweet, did you see that, that Major League Baseball player who made the All-Star team? I forget his name. I think he plays on the Milwaukee Brewers. He even pitched in the All-Star game. They found tweets from when he was like 16 or 17 years old. He said, white power, I hate gay people, and it was a huge story. <sighs> it was like eight or nine years ago. And 
he had to apologize, and they asked all of his teammates what they thought of it. He said, I was a dumb kid. I was young. I was a lot different. Then all of his teammates said he, they've got no problems with him. He's exhibited no intolerant behavior at all in the locker room. Came totally out of left field. People change, e- man. You ESPN gotta, made a big deal out of it. You're going to dig up shit that happened when you're a fucking teen. Everybody, you know. The difference between them and us is when you and I were 17, there was no Twitter or social exactly. media. Yeah, thank so God. we didn't leave a, di- <laughs> a, a digital trail of our shit from when we were that age. Right. Thank God. Yeah. I tell you what, anybody anywhere wants to say whatever word they want to and says it, they got my respect just for the principle of it and to show the world that that stuff's got to stop. What, and stop cen- pandering. Censor- censorship? Absolutely. Stop pandering to these cowards that think they can ruin people's lives in which they can't. He's laughing all the way to the bank. Who's laughing all the way to the bank? John Schnatter. No, from Papa John, yeah. That, that's going to take a big hit to that company, man. But the porch monkeys, I hear continue them say, white devil, cracker. It's not a... Kill all whiteies, kill the white babies... And nothing said. One of the biggest racists I know is a black guy. Of course. But you know what? Let him say what he wants to. I don't That's care. his yeah, right. That's, that's his problem. That's his right. Right. I mean, it's his fucking problem. Whatever. If he wants to live his life being a fucking jerk off. But he, he has be. a right to say it in my book. Well, not anymore. No. They, they can say it. We can't. Well, I can. And I will. <laughs> and if you don't like it, well, you got to kill me. <laughs> Fre- freedom of speech is negotiable these days. It yeah. depends you who let that freedom it. go. Does Boston Lloyd? I commend him for speaking his views. He's the one that's got balls in society today, and that's a guy that's in his twenties. Yeah, he's one of the few I like and follow. He's, he's got good. balls. He says what's on his mind. You may disagree or not, but too bad he has a right to say it. Yeah, if you don't like it, go watch something else. So do those things they call a rapper. I really don't know what that is. Don't really want to know what it is, which is my right, but they can say what they want. I don't care what a person says. I'll always defend their right to freedom of speech. I can, right. I can disagree with it 10,000%, but I will still always support that person's right to freedom of speech. Well, even comedians can't say everything they want opinion. anymore. Right. They used to, comedians used to be able to say whatever they want. Do you know any comedians can. now? No, I don't. Huh? I don't even know any. That's why. WWE used to trample on everybody. Now they're non-existent. UFC, start drug testing. Goodbye. Yeah. People are slowly losing interest. Speaking of which, did you hear that Conor McGregor, did you hear about his sentencing today for that fiasco at the UFC event in Brooklyn? Didn't he settle no. with everybody? No jail time, nothing. Barely even a slap on the wrist. But he paid everybody off, right? I, I don't know. I mean, he he, settled. He's going to get law. I'm, I'm not talking the legal shit. I'm talking the criminal shit. In criminal court. If you did some shit like that. If, if that was but anybody we'd all, else. You'd still be sitting in fucking jail. That's, what, three to five years. That shows you how corrupt the system is, man. You got money, you can get out of whatever the fuck I you don't do. know necessarily. That's Look at corrupt. OJ. Look at OJ. It's not corrupt. Money is power. Yeah, well. Might yeah, makes right. True. That's true. You got the weapons, you got the money. There are two sets More of... More power to you, I guess, right? Th- th- You're th- sitting in a cell, somebody my size or Jay Master's size versus 180 pounders, good luck. <laughs> I don't care how good of a fighter you are. That's the way life is. It's not fair. It'll never be fair. And deal with it. The poor always bitching too much, try to make it fair. <clears throat> and that's not the way life works. Is that fair that certain insects have a 24 hour lifespan? No. Talking about Nate? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Nate. Love you, man. <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. I had to say, pinworm. <laughs> <laughs> Is it fair that I haven't seen Christina yet? Doesn't matter. Didn't happen yet, but I know when it's going to happen. And I'm trying with thank you for Adam McLeod, the man who sees no boundaries, knows no limits. I have a feeling he's going to make it happen, and he'll film it. 
and it'll be some great mints <laughs> of me falling down, passing out. They'll film you getting maced. Exactly. <laughs> 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 it'll be like three seconds and yeah. like 12 <laughs> cops on yeah. them. Feel me getting beaten with billy clubs. Jesus Christ. Christina will know that's not the case when she sees me. She'll be able to sense it. Right. Certainly not the enough case. Enough for her. We already talked yeah, about exactly. her. And it's Next. Enough. You can never talk enough what about are you, what her. What are your thoughts on CrossFit, Leonard? Here's a Just question. another cookie cutter. I mean, it's good, but it's kind of mundane. Good for who? It's good for... For injuries. It's a certain amount of challenge to it, but... It's very really cookie cutter. And All you have to do is go on YouTube and watch these CrossFit fail videos, and you, you see these total novices doing Olympic style lifts. What are you doing that for? Yeah, so I mean, it doesn't come in handy much in life, especially as an on athlete. I don't think it's as popular as it was a few years ago. Well, because it's cookie cutter. Whatever happened to Pilates? Which, by the way, Jay True. Cutler incorporated during his Olympia reign. I have to ask him about that. Are you still doing the Pilates? Jay Cutler, you. <laughs> Pilates is tough. I've tried it. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. What is that for? Flexibility? Yeah, all kinds of shit. It's 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 good, but it's it's not it's not easy. You should see how flexible fucking Carla Dunlap is. She, the other yeah. day. Yeah. She what do you mean the other day? She had, she's supposed to be on the podcast. You didn't. She had. You didn't say anything to her. She had. Her fucking legs behind her head. What? Touch like her feet were touching the ground behind her head. She was laying on the floor. She spends a good thirty minutes stretching in the stretching area. And she's the yeah. most flexible bodybuilder I've ever seen. Yeah. I mean, she doesn't have the frame of a bodybuilder anymore. And you didn't invite her back on the podcast. <laughs> I used to bust nuts to her. That's great. When I was a teenager. Next time we see Next her. Next time I see her, I'll ask her again. I saw her that one time. I asked her. She was nice. She said the next time she saw me, she'd have a business card. I didn't see her. How I bet long? you she likes getting. It her. was like at least six months. Six I months bet she likes so. getting rimmed from that. And now position. she's gone. She's gone now. I haven't seen her in a. Well, when the fuck was the last she's time? She still saw train her? that one guy every time. I haven't seen them in a. It's been a little bit. Miss Olympia, mm-hmm. and you didn't even tell me a tan Miss Olympia. Have you ever seen her there? In the morning? Never. He's never go. there in the morning. No, I know, uh, yeah. You got to go early to see her. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck is the Dark Lord? He's out extorting Hamburg on the I think he's got. Um, I think he's got a couple of fans in town from the looks of it. Yeah. He wants them all to himself because <laughs> yeah. he knows if we're around, right? We won't let them. We won't let them get extorted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he gets pissed. He does, he's very territorial of his fans when they come to town. To Hamburg see insisted yeah. on buying him shit the other night, but that's you know, if he insists, what are you gonna do? What was the other question? Would you eat Jane's ass, Leonard? Uh, come on. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I'd eat Carla Dunlap's. What's your resting heart rate per minute, Leonard? I'm not really certain at this time. We'll have to do it at the Olympia. What we should do is get at something where we can measure it and get 10 of the measure. biggest guys there. I hate how you and say measure. His, and just measure everybody's heart rates. Blood pressure. I'm not really concerned about that. Those are for cookie cutters, for mortal human beings. I find my blood pressure is too high. I'll pop some garlic cloves, chew them up, or Ugh. I'll take a couple shots of Cialis. Or I'll drink a gallon of water. All three work. But the best thing for blood pressure, obviously, is getting a good night's sleep, which I've been having difficulty at lately. I got to get a new CPAP machine. I got to go through. All That's the another thing. If we get a, if we, if this GoFundMe goes well and we get a lot of, if we get, you know, money left over, we definitely got to put it in the bank for Leonard's medical. Just costs. a CPAP yeah. machine, a new one. Because you lost all your medical benefits. Yeah. And you're not sponging off the government yet. Have you filled out any? No, I haven't done it yet. Yeah, we like to have a little kind of stash set aside for you in case of a medical Thanks. emergency. You need a new CPAP. So. What does that cost? Well, you got to go for a sleep study again. I had it done when I was dieting. It's a mistake. i got to get it done when I'm my heaviest so they can put it at a certain level. 
because it's not strong enough now. Fuck. Why don't so, you back off a little bit? Got to get bigger. You got a whole fucking year to get bigger for that ruby. Got to get bigger. Yeah, but we don't want you dropping dead, Leonard. That's the whole well, point. It's not a guarantee that I will or I maybe, won't. Maybe he is immortal. He hasn't dropped dead yet. Let's not jinx him either. <laughs> and if I do... I'm not going to be dead. Christina's going to carry me away to eternity, eternal paradise. All these maniacs will that. be fucking devastated. Yeah. Don't worry. They'll join us all soon enough. If you say so, man. Is there a new Granny Figs? Yeah, I think he created a new account, finally. It took him a while. What else is going on in, in the news, entertainment, anything? No, there are a few other things. See, Brad, NFL training camp started this week. When, when I, I heard John Gruden had a big rally at, for the uh, Raiders Chucky. yesterday. Chucky. And he actually paid for everyone to have a free meal. And when he came out in the middle of the speech, everyone said, Chucky, Chucky. <laughs> I kind of think he's a cookie cutter. Well, he's, in, he's inheriting a very good fucking team. Yeah. Every time I see Brad in the gym in the morning, we talk about all these things we want to discuss on the podcast. We don't write, fucking forget. We don't write them down, right. and then it comes time to do the podcast, and we're like, "Oh shit, we forgot to talk." So about Just want you to discuss getting Carla extend the invitation to get her. All on right, the podcast. check. We, we we got. That. I'll do it because I'll present her. I'll gotcha. surprise her with a nice bouquet. Consider it done. Think nothing of it. Next time we see her, Leonard, right. don't worry. I'd like her to put her legs behind her ears on this table. Well, I give her the rim job of a life. <laughs> you and Kimbo. <laughs> <laughs> pussy eating pussy. Jesus Christ. Smear some nine lives on her ass. <laughs> Here's one for you. What is that? Whoa. That looks like Christina. Is that Christina with my... It's, body, it's a bodybuilding chick. It looks like Christina in the face. It's like one of Jay's women, but younger. Yeah. <laughs> About 30 years younger. Not bad. Different. Yeah. Although I'd prefer a tranny. They're much more feminine. Ugh. I've got something extra to play around with. All right, can we not... I don't know. What are you going to do with a big clit, Brad? I'd like to know. Here we go. <laughs> it's like what who, do you do with them it's like who's on first with Abbott and Costello <laughs> I've never been with a chick with an oversized clit Len, Lenny's giving I you was the, with the, one <laughs> the Larry I Davis think it was a uh, real life from Aphrodite that girl that flagged me down and I, went, I took her to my mother's house and I dropped her off at the high school her clit was enormous. I think she was actually a hermaphrodite because I thought it was a tranny walking down. She was very muscular in the back. She had shorts on, a, like a halter top. I bet D-Ball Debbie's got a fat clit. I've seen it. Yeah, it's on there. Yeah. <laughs> you seen it in person or in her videos? No, in her videos. You know, she kind of looks like Vera a little bit. Kind of reminds her a little bit. As I like to call her Hector. <laughs> Juan Carlos uh, <laughs> pick pick your male Latino name Ugh. Jesus Christ <laughs> what about uh, you, you said you wanted to talk about Palumbo yeah Dave just to let us know I hope you if you guys are going to Olympia I hope to we shoot a little quick few videos with you guys Miss you. I've got a lot to talk about. Really enjoyed the opportunity you gave me. Everybody, I, I'll be I'll ride my bike and truckers will pull over. Hey, I saw you on RX Muscle. You were great. And I want to thank you, Dave. We need to go over to his house again. That was fun. That drive to the West Coast. Yeah, yeah he's a lot of fun to be it's around. It's a nice area over there, yeah. too. Very different. Not dark enough for you, Brad. <laughs> 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 I couldn't believe when we went into that Publix and there wasn't one black person working there. Yes. You need your 10, 10, 10s and your 10s with the big asses. I think on the West Coast, it's more Mexican than Haitian. You know, the Haitians tend to gravitate towards the East Coast of Florida and the Mexican, obviously, because you get the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, because their country gravitates right. towards there. Yeah, 
when they pile on them banana boats <laughs> and risk life and limb to come here. Yeah, so that's about it. What else? All right, Andrew, thanks for the motivation from your Andrew Kalora from your Instagrams. Like every one of them, I learn a lot. Hopefully, you'll be able to join us at the Olympia. I got a surprise for you if you do. Oh, he's got, it's all or nothing, man. We all we're, oh, yeah. we all yeah. got to go. He, I like that. All he or can, nothing. It he is. Can, it's a th- we're going to go what September thirteenth through the sixteenth. We'll go Thursday during the day or morning, and you know leave Sunday night on the red eye. Get back here Monday morning. We can make it happen. I I think it'll be a good time. What's he got to do? Colin's sick for fucking three days. Who gives a shit? (laughs) Here's what what goes through some of these questions. This one's a funny one. (laughs) Uh, Important podcast inquiry for the Royal Scholars. When will Brad begin working out with elbow sleeves, knee sleeves, wrist wraps, Here gloves, he has. hernia belt, <laughs> athletic supporter, ankle wraps, slingshot, <laughs> bench shirt, and three foot stones? <laughs> a mouth guard. Don't forget the truss. All while <laughs> warming up with fat grips and resistance bands. <laughs> hey, whatever keeps me injury fi- free, I will try. Well, that guy... Uh Chris is 57, and he works out with all that shit, and the guy squats 400 pounds every single day. Yeah, it's... I don't know how the fuck his knees and hips aren't messed up. Yeah, I don't know either. I, I, every single day, he has this thing where he squats. What, like a 100-day straight challenge? That's, that's he, did, he did that, and then he was going to go for a year straight, but then he just... He you know, started, it's going to cause your like body three days a week. to produce cartilage as much as it possibly can at that age. It's going to cause... Your body to do that stresses. Well, he's so going he he's going to enter. He's going to enter a competition of you know powerlifting, bench, deadlift, squat. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's his goal. What does he bench? Does he bench a lot? I've never seen yeah, he's him pretty bench. strong. I, I only I see know. him do legs. But that slingshot, how you know? I hadn't done flat bench since the last time Ham- Hamburg was here. So I gave that slingshot a try. It's definitely fucking cheating I mean, there's no you know my fans are butts about it but Coth Andrew told me I shouldn't be doing flat bench anyways fuck what do you need to do flat bench for that's Why? arguable what's his reason for it you said it's not necessary well, it's it? just overuse and people have torn pecs because of it going too heavy and just doing too much Plus, but most guys actually, when you hit when you bring the, you always you know you bring the bar down and you tap your chest your shoulder is is not in a good position. Well, for, for someone who says you shouldn't be benching, what do they recommend as your number one primary chest exercise if it's not benching? They say incline press. Yeah, he said incline Dumbo right. incline. Yeah, dumb mm-hmm. dumbo bench. Yeah. But, you know, those guys that are torn packs, most of them are our age and older, simply because back then everyone was benching. It was like the biggest thing, you know, how much you bench, you know? Right. You don't see young guys with torn packs as much. Yeah. Except for Jeremy Buendia. What is with that fucking guy? Who who is He's that? He's competing in the Olympia, the female bikini. Male bikini. Who is that? Jeremy. The who? famous Jeremy Buendia. He's a the Olympia. Is it male bikini where you wear fucking? Yeah, thongs? male physique. Oh, Mr. Olympia. Male oh. physique. So he goes about five two. The same size as what's his face? Did they over say there? he's he's a snitch or some shit? Is that why everybody's got beef with him? Yeah. He's a rat. Boston Wood called him out. Well, Boston Lloyd's not doing the uh, 3CC anymore. Yeah. Whatever. Well, should we wish the best of luck to Flex, uh, what's his name? Flex Lewis. Never heard of her. <laughs> In his last contest. This is his well, last I'll be there time. to see it. I can't wait. Good luck, Flex. When is From it, Big when Lenny. Is it, I didn't even look. I saw the expo hours are like what? 10 to 5. 10 to 5. And then when is the actual... Show Saturday night. They have an expo on Friday and Saturday from ten to five. Lenny, you should enter one of these grappling contests that they have there. Oh, they do have they like really? Grappling, jujitsu, lifting competitions. It's a whole array of different events that they have, not just the expo. Well, I'll do the grappling. Jay, big big Jay Masters. Maybe we could do some of the lifts. 
That'd he said he well, He said he was all he was all goosed up, ready to go. He wanted to go to you know Jay Cutler's gym and. Okay, well, I'm sure they have arm wrestling too. No Are excuses, you? Jay. You're coming. We won't let you be drunk the whole time. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> else gotta do by the way the book the cameo book cameo for leonard is hysterical if you guys haven't bought one he does a good job yeah i haven't done any what's the matter cookie cutters it's been a couple days it's been quiet because we don't fucking advertise what's everybody getting stoned and playing video games it's my (laughs) fault it's my it's my fault man i don't spam I don't spam the account with this shit. Brad, Brad's not like Jason posting it 50 times a day. Yeah, I just, you know? I, I don't, you know. I just don't. But every time we mention it, you get some coming in. And they're great. The shit well, that you say. Keep mentioning them. Yeah, I will. And I'll teach me how to mention it so you don't have to bother That's so the much. problem. I need, you, I need you to learn how to use yeah, your smartphone. You if we your, had. You got to use your Instagram. Link. The amount of determination that Adam McLeod has in his pinky, we would be going somewhere. Hats off to Adam McLeod. We are going somewhere. We're going to the Olympia. Yes. And I hope some of more Adam's wisdom, determination, that, maniacs? and help, toughness. Help us make it happen. He's also That's the right. ultimate alpha male. He does all the heavy Who? Olympic lifts. Adam McLeod. He's a, not only brains, but he's got the brawn. He's got the determination. The fuck and are you he's been through he's a, done Olympic he's lifts? He's been through a near-death experience. I've seen him on his Instagrams. Oh, okay. Yeah, he does. Like, he like, been through a near-death experience. They literally cut in half. Not this yeah, little his, Dale yeah, Chance yeah, like right. bumps and boo boos. Yeah. Remember when they showed literally him. cut in half? Dale Chance bumps and boo boos. You're <laughs> such a fucking prick. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, like Dale says, if he wasn't in that good of shape, he would have been dead probably. And that, yeah, that Mister Olympia. They can't believe how Olympia fast he can, recovered. They can't believe it. <laughs> uh, Six million dollar man, yeah. Dale Super Chance. <laughs> Dale they Superman better have chance. a booth for him. It would be a little bit disrespectful if you ask me. <coughs> he deserves a throne. Lewis, Every- uh, Lewis talking about getting a booth, but I don't, none of us can sit there all no, fucking day. No, hey, I, I can't lug a bunch of shirts out there. If you guys, you know what? Maybe we'll do we'll do a pre sale on the shirts. If you guys want shirts, we'll do it that way. But yeah, I can't bring shit out there. Maybe we'll bring a few. You could sell the shirt off your back, Leonard. I will. <laughs> Sign it and give it to somebody. I hope a tan ten ten signs me her panties, dude. Oh, we'll go. We'll go downtown. And Free, shoves Fremont's, it down my throat. There's plenty of trannies by Fremont you Street. Would Don't love worry about it. Fremont Good, Street, I'm, Lenny. It's a free I'm, show. I'm craving. We should find a hotel on Fremont Street to stay at, like Golden Nugget or the Plaza, the old school Vegas. Not a bad idea. Where the Olympia is being held at the Orleans. I think oh. so. It's kind of a fucking dump now. We used to go when I lived there. We used to go there. It was Mandalay Bay. No, no, it's called the Orleans. It's off the strip, kind of by the Rio. Mm-hmm. They would have free bowling after midnight. What? Yes. We would get kicked out within 30 fucking minutes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> what a cookie. See how many lanes we could throw the ball sideways? <laughs> it was so bad. I can't believe I actually did that at a certain yeah. point of my youth. It's like dollar pitchers and free bowling. So you know it's just... Dale's got a bowling alley movies. at his estate, I heard. A private bowling alley. You should go visit the Chance Estate. There's a waiting list. <laughs> <laughs> Years. We'll hunt deer in his backyard. If you're lucky. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky to breathe the same air. It's oh, my God. The Royal <laughs> Dale Chance. They're actually going to make him a knight over in Europe. Sir Dale Chance? Yes. What the fuck is wrong with you? Sir Dale Chance. <laughs> He'll be in a <laughs> suit of armor. <laughs> Any good questions? Uh, just smart ass shit. When am I gonna eat ass? Yeah, oh, whole fucking night. <laughs> in Vegas, hopefully. <laughs> uh, Leonard's convinced if I took some G, I would be eating ass. Pretty pretty much. That'll get you. Uh, That's why I will not take. That get you that ass eating. I don't need any. F- no. No. All right, maniacs. You wanna call this our shortest podcast ever? Or do you want to keep going? Hour. And Actually, 15 it's minutes? not. Hour and fifteen yeah. minutes. Hour though. and fifteen minutes. It's pretty short. Oh. Yeah. Short and sweet. 
think we got any. Sweet as Dale Chance. Sweeter. Sweeter than Dale Chance's sweat after a workout. <laughs> it's relentless. I like when you imitate Dale. That's better than talking shit to him. Yeah, it does give you a good feeling. Like I'm on like from royalty or something like that. I'm above everyone. Here, Lenny, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find something for you to take us out with. Hold on. Let's see what I can find. Oh, my fucking God. What? Look at what Granny Figs wrote. <laughs> you can read it because you know Spanish. Attention, por favor, es mío and Lou get married. No invite puto Nathan. <laughs> puto Nathan. Be- because he no love me, only love leech novia. <laughs> and put his finger in donut butthola. Por favor, ask Delany to come to me a wedding. <laughs> oh boy. J Master says he only wants to room with me or you in, in Vegas. You or me? Yeah. Is that a Freudian slip? <laughs> hey. If we get enough money, we'll each get our own fucking room. How's that? I'm getting my own room, period. No, that's 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 a stipulation. No offense, Jay. Or may, maybe a little bit of offense now that Who I'm do you want to shack it. up with, Leonard? <laughs> I want to shack up with... Just like old times, me and Andrew Kalora with a tan. Oh, my God. And we've done that more than a few times. Oh, boy. Tans and tan, tan, tans. We'll have to bring the tripod so you guys can set it up. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I got a surprise for him. All right, Lenny. We're going to do a little harmonica blues. And you can come up with some lyrics. Some lyrics, as they say in the hood, off the top of the dome. <laughs> for Dale Chance. Take all your take all the time you need, Lenny. Let the let the lyrics come to you. Surgeries, <laughs> surgeries, they got me down, but not for long. I'm hiring my team, personal trainers, Cornelius, take me to the top, dietitians, diet plans. Different drugs <laughs> for all my fans. Because I'm Del Chance on Chance Estate. Because I think that I am great. I drive a truck, a BMW, and I have my personal jet on Chance Estate. I have a koi pond and a gas pump. And I look down on the fellow scum. Because I'm Del Chance. Because I'm the greatest. On the football field, the bodybuilding stage, and in the gym. Just look at me. Because I'm Del Chance. Chuck E. Cheese Chance. And I'm the man. The Chucky Chance, cause I'm the man. I'm gonna be at the Olympia on a throne, looking down at the trash, <laughs> spit, spitting tobacco on the trash, selling my shirts, <laughs> and spreading my ass, cause I'm Del Chance. You can eat my ass. I'm Dale Chance. <laughs> and kiss my ass. Uh, they should name the Olympia for me. And put my name on the statue. Because I'm Dale Chance. 
Uh, you talk about me, right, you're going right, down. Right. I prove him wrong. Because I'm Dale right. Chance. Right. Chuck E. Cheese Chance. <laughs> Do that for me, Doc. Now I'm going back to my estate. And all you motherfuckers know I'm great. Because <laughs> I'm Dale Chance. Chuck E. Cheese Chance. <laughs> and I poop my pants. <laughs> Whenever I want, and my servants clean it oh my God. from back to front, because I'm Dill Chance. He's getting into it now. And oh. Kiss my ass, because I'm Dill Chance. All right, mic drop. Good night. <laughs>